Hey everybody, um, so today we're going to be taking the clutch pedal off and doing the bushings and replacing all the components um, on the clutch pedal. Um, it, there is a lot of side to side play and then it's, it doesn't like engage until like it starts engaging from like right now it will start engaging but there is nothing here. I don't know if it's if that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, but I'm still gonna do it. Uh, so basically I just took the seat off and um, There's a knee pad thing right here. I took that off as well um, You really don't have to take those off, but for video purposes. I took that off hey everybody before I start the video and explaining on, on explaining how to delete the um, clutch pedal spring um, I thought I'd uh, Help you guys understand what the spring actually does. This isn't a return spring as most people think this is a helper spring so what it does is help keep the clutch pushed down because i don't know bmw i guess um i'll insert a video link right now to show you the clutch pedal without any hydraulic pressure As you can see, the, the clutch, but the spring does not help it return. What it does is it helps it keep it pushed down. Um, I don't think any clutch pedal or 99% of the clutch pedals don't have a return spring because the master cylinder pressure is more than enough to like bring it back. Um, so yeah, that's why you didn't need the clutch pedal spring. It's really not necessary to keep and it's kind of annoying to put back, like really annoying to put back. But I'm gonna show you both how to put it back and then how to delete it basically. Um, also, they break usually. The rod that the spring goes through, the piston, it's kind of a piston, but um, this usually snaps in half and yeah, it's not even worth it. So, um, in order to take the clutch pedal off, I'm not gonna take the master cylinder off because um, I thought mine was plastic, but it's not. And I also didn't buy one. Um, mine looks pretty new and it's not leaking or anything, so that's good. Um, usually they're plastic, but so in order to take the clutch pedal off, um, if you can see both both these clips, may, let me focus on the other one. So you have to take both of these off. Um, so after literally studying these clips, um, the correct way to take them off, most people would do is just put a pick in here and then just pull it. But what you do is put a needle nose plier. Um, right in here, twist it, and then just pull it out, as simple as that. Um, do this for both of these, the top one as well, and then slide the pins out. All the pins are clips. Um, I also had to do one more um, on the bottom sides for where the spring is, a smaller clip. Um, so what I did was, held the clutch pedal so if my hand was the clutch pedal what I did was I did this and then one of the bushings fell out I took the bushing out and I had enough room to push push the clutch clutch pedal like this and get up the pin from here like the one that sits on the lower side out and the clutch pedal just popped out um, so yes uh, I have the clutch pedal I just bought at home because it's kind of cold outside. Um, I have new clips um, And then I have the U UUC uh, clutch pedal bushing um, with the washers and then these are all the Parts that I'm gonna be reusing except for the clips So this is prior to installing the whole assembly back on <clears throat> I just wanted to show you like um, where everything goes so that this pin is where the um, bushing sits um, this is the other pin that goes to the clutch master and then this here okay let's come a little bit forward and um, show you okay so um, let me show you from let me get a better better camera and then I'll be back so um, if you can see this right here uh, do you see this groove? Most people put the top of the, <clears throat> the spring, the helper spring on here, but it actually goes in here.
this part right here. Um, yep, right there. Uh, so you put that in. So what you want to do is put the metal clip on first. Let me, everybody, I don't know if you can see this or not. The, so this clip that sits on top of the spring um, goes on that groove um, that I showed you just now. Um, not the second big one, but there is a V groove. Um, so if it doesn't go and sit on itself, like just sit um, in there by itself, uh, if you see these like small pins, what you can do is like bend them, uh, bend them outwards. Uh, sorry, in uh, outwards, and it should like press into the um, aluminum part, the groove right there. So yeah, this thing is pretty much sitting there by itself. Bushings itself. Um, so the UUC comes with two bushings and two washers. Um, the washer is basically, this one goes in the pin. And then you put the bushing in, in, the, in the clutch pedal. And then the other one goes outside the pin. Like the, at the uh, other side of the pin. And then you put the clip on. Um, the washers are there basically to like... Uh, make sure that it's like extra extra tight and uh, doesn't have any kind of play So I'm just gonna put the bush. I did already loop uh, lubricate it with um, some lithium grease and They seem to go in pretty easily I'm also gonna lubricate the inside and the pin itself. So I've slid one of the washers in and now what I'm gonna do is uh, put the clutch pedal back on um, it's easy. Um, okay, so the pedal. switched to my phone. Um, I have put the clutch pedal back on. And now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that's, um, that right there is the pin, like on the very top edge. So now what I'm gonna do is put the um, washer back on. And then I'm just going to put the pin back on. So now what I've done is, I, uh, as you can see, the bracket is off. And in order to take the bracket off, um, if you can see that 10 millimeter bolt right here, uh, you just take it out from, uh, from, oops, from here. Um, I just put an electric ratchet on with the 10 millimeter and just came off. It's pretty easy. Um, and now I can easily slide the pin in and out. So here's the pin. And now I'm just gonna slide it inside the master cylinder. Uh, where is the master cylinder core? And just slide it in again. Okay, so the pin for the uh, master cylinder is on uh, right here. And I'm just gonna put the circuit back on. Okay, so now I'm going to do is assemble the whole spring, uh, the helper spring, and so basically the, ro uh, the locking pin, this is called a locking pin, this is the spring and this is the top hat, so this goes inside here, and I've already put the uh, metal collar, uh, the metal pin on top, um, I think I've shown that on the video and where it goes exactly. I've also put zip ties, uh, put it in a vise and tightened it with a zip tie. But I don't think you really need to do it. Um, uh, you can just hold the pedal uh, with your hand and then just slide this on. It's, it's, it's a little more annoying that way, but this is also uh, kind of sketchy, but it works. So now what I'm gonna be doing is 
um, you can see the top collar pin right there and then here is the place where this bottom piece goes so what I did was just <clears throat> went home and compressed the spring a little extra um, and slid the whole thing on as you can see there's a zip tie and just slid the pin on and now it's locked into place and now what I'm gonna do is just put all the surf clips back on so now what I'm gonna be doing is just cutting the zip ties out and uh, hope that it all works Okay, so um, here's the clutch pedal. I don't know if you can see this or not. The case okay, so right here. Um, when I press the clutch, it just goes in, and then it starts engaging from here. So right now it's unengaged. There's, the master cylinder has no pressure. And as soon as I press it from here, it uh, it engages. So that is not a problem with any kind of bushings or anything. It is actually the problem with the spring and the master cylinder itself. So I'm gonna have to replace the master cylinder, but for now what I'm gonna do is uh, just delete the spring. I've seen a lot of people do it, especially on their E92s um, uh, and then their um, Z3s and other stuff. So I'm just gonna do the spring and see how it feels. It is gonna change a few things, um, but I'll get to that later. Just take the pin out and that's it. So that's it. And now I'm gonna see how the clutch feels. So the clutch feels great, but it doesn't have that play. And it is the same level as the brake pedal now. Uh, previously it was just like this, um, but I don't know if you can hear it or not. That is the clutch neutral safety switch. And I have to rig up like a spacer uh, so that's between the switch and the pedal so that the pedal doesn't have to like go come out here so and um, and it still presses on the pedal there's no adjustment on this clutch pedal um, what do you call it? the safety switch because I don't know BMW I guess but hopefully um, I, I don't even, I don't think I even need the clutch uh, neutral safety switch because the car is a 93 and it starts without the switch uh, pressing in the clutch, um, but I'm still gonna see if I can figure it out. And, um, if that works, it would just be better. And also, if I have a spacer on there, there would be no play here. Like, I would just go directly in, like, stay here and not come out. So, I just took the um, brake pedal uh, sensors out, the bracket out. Um, it's just one bolt on the clutch master cylinder. Um, these are the plugs for it stuff them here um, so this right here is the place where the um, the uh, the sensor sits um, so what I'm gonna do is I tried to put a zip tie on it but there is no like, relief here so what I'm gonna do is just drill a hole put a nut and bolt through and make basically make an adjustment for the sensor So I've just drilled the hole and now what I'm going to do is put the adjustment screw and then put a nut on uh, behind here and then um, hopefully that will work. Hopefully. So the bolts are in now, I'm just going to put the bracket and adjust it. I might need to pull it in a little bit more. Um, so um, I've made a slight mistake, I don't know if you can tell but the hole is yeah an eighth or a quarter of an inch on the inside but uh luckily i can fix it so i'm just gonna drill out the hole and uh, hopefully it doesn't weaken the fast put a bolt a nut assembly and adjusted it so now there is almost zero place so i'm trying to i'm moving the clutch right now but you can press the clutch and as you can see it's kind of hard for me but it still works um so now i'm just gonna Put the seat back in and finish it so up. So the clutch feels great. It just feels like a normal clutch now. Um, there is no spring, so it's kind of a little stiffer, but 
maybe that's because I'm sitting on the floor. But that look, that feels great. There's like no side to side play. Well, maybe a little bit, but it does the plastic itself. Um, yeah, that's it I guess.